Ed Burns, the actor, director, and writer, first came to prominence in the 90s for his prize-winning movie, The Brothers McMullen. Burns married supermodel Christy Turlington, and he's also famous for his part in movies like Saving Private Ryan. But now he's bringing his indie abilities to TV. His new series called Public Morals is set to debut this month on TNT. Ahead of that, Sunday morning correspondent Tracy Smith met up with Burns. She joins us now from L.A. Hello, Tracy. Good morning. So, uh, Ed Burns shot that first movie, The Brothers McMullen, in his childhood home, the house where he grew up. And his childhood also plays into this new TV series. So, we decided to go back with Ed Burns to the beginning. So, this is the old neighborhood? This is it. This is where I spent every day of my childhood and my teen years. 47-year-old Edward Burns grew up in a large Irish Catholic family in Valley Stream, Long Island. He hasn't been back inside his childhood home since his parents sold it 15 years ago. Uh, smells the same. Smells the same. What's it feel like to be walking back in here? I mean, it is surreal. It really is. Wow. Burns and his brother shared this attic bedroom. Wow. Which we then used in McMullen for the bedroom for me. This is where me and McGlone move in. And this is where, as a teenager, his parents encouraged him to start writing. My desk was over there. Um, I had all my film books over there. And I would sit there working on that first screenplay, determined to somehow get into the business. Um, and once filmmaking became my passion, that's, you know, that's, that's all I really focused on. And to this day, that's kind of, you know, uh, it's still my number one passion and the thing I'm focused on. So, Tracy, Tracy, refresh our memories. What eventually happened to the film that he shot in his childhood, Brothers McMullen? Uh, that film actually went on to win Sundance. It won the grand jury prize. And that's an interesting story, how he even got it into Sundance in the first place. And obviously, after it won Sundance, his life changed. As he put it, he went from getting coffee for other people, because he was a grunt on Entertainment Tonight, to oh, being wow. served coffee in meetings with studio executives offering him money to make more films. All right, so you opened the door. How did he get it into Sundance? <laughs> so he was working for Entertainment Tonight, basically as a production assistant, and he had been rejected by every film festival, including Sundance. But E.T. happened to have an interview coming up with Robert Redford, who, as you know, is the founder of Sundance. So Burns, knowing that he could get fired, got a rough cut of his film and handed it to Redford. And a few months later, he got the letter saying, you're in. That is such a Hollywood story. So, all right, so he made a few successful movies after Brothers, but then some not so successful ones. So what did he do to, you know, turn it around, so to speak? You know, it's great. He's very upfront about this. This is one of the things I love about this guy. He says, I was in director's jail, so what did I do? I went back to the beginning. I went back to making movies for little or no money, basically, and it worked. He calls it McMullen 2.0. He shoots these movies, you know, out on the streets, just like he did with McMullen, not paying location fees, no big stars, no craft services. They eat pizza, that kind of stuff. But he has complete creative control, and it's worked. Audiences are watching them. Can we talk about his wife for a minute? Sure. She's a supermodel. Did you get to see her? Did he talk about her? Yes. So actually, we met Christy and Ed back in 2011 when we were doing a story on Christy Turlington. She does this amazing work with maternal health. Uh, and that's when we met the both of them. And here's the thing about them. Yes, they are ridiculously good looking, impossibly so. They are. But they're like normal people. They're super nice and super normal. Um, I don't know if it comes from their backgrounds. I mean, he's the son of a New York City cop. But something about it, they've, they've done it right. Something in those jeans. Tracy Smith, you always get the fun profiles for Sunday morning. Thank you. We I think so, too. We love watching, and we'll be watching this Sunday. Thanks. And for the rest of Tracy's conversation with Ed Burns, you can see it this week on Sunday morning. Yours right here on CBS. We're back in 90 seconds. You are watching CBSN.